again. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the lack of clouds today allowed us to get very hot yet again. Up in Anson right now, they're 100 degrees on the dot. 99 in Albany and Roby, 98 up in Abilene, 96 degrees down here in San Angelo under those sunny skies. Now, as the evening progresses, the few clouds we have seen over the day are going to begin to break up, giving us some clear skies for the night, but those breezy winds coming from the south are going to help keep things on the warmer side as we go through our overnight hours. Overnight lows are only going to get to the mid to upper 60s with a few of those warmer spots still seeing a little bit of cloud cover. Only getting down to the lower 70s, the low in Abilene and San Angelo are going to be 68 degrees, 64 down in Menard and Junction, 71 up towards Broby and Anson is going to be your lows for tonight. Now for the rest of this work week, we're going to stay in those mid 90s before we get up to the upper 90s and even back into the triple digits this weekend, getting to 101 on Sunday and 102 to start your week off next week. We will see though some isolated rain chances as we end as we end this work week. And here's the setup for why we have this dry line that we've been talking about. That's what's been feeling a lot of our rain chances over the past couple weeks. This dry line to our west as that starts to move closer along with a cold front. We'll see some isolated showers popping up to around that dry line and around that cold front, mainly through th Thursday night into Friday morning. And then throughout the day on Friday, seeing a few isolated sprinkles, not going to be any widespread rain associated with this, just a few sprinkles to help those rain totals that we've been talking about. But as we get to the weekend, that cold front that you see is going to move back north, so it's not going to bring us any relief. We're just going to keep seeing those temperatures on the rise as we go through the rest of this forecast period. So we're going to end this week still in the 90s with some isolated rain chances between Thursday night into Friday. Then we'll be back on a warming trend back into the triple digits as you see here in San Angelo four of the seven days in the triple digits. But for Abilene, five of the seven days in the triple digits, thanks to the sunshine, thanks to some upper level ridging that'll set in at the start of next week. So no relief anytime soon with this heat, but at least the sun is out. Back to you, Elsmore.